Morning YouTubers, this morning I'm going to show you how I would make a section of decorative chain link. Uh, this is an example uh, that I've made using 6mm round mild steel bar. Uh, I'm going to be using 4mm round mild steel. So the first thing to do is to understand how how much link you want to make. I'm actually going to make 200, I'm going to make about 8 meters of this which is going to be about 220 out of these links. This is the 4 mil round mile steel. Um, I've got about 220 of these which I calculate will give me about 8 meters. So first section is to cut 220 of these which I've done and uh, as you can see there are quite a few of them there at the moment. Um, the next section, uh, the next thing we need to be doing to make, to begin making the link is to um, do this small decorative twirl at the end here. You can just see it, it's just just provides a nice little decorative feature. Uh, so we need to do that, we need to uh, prepare the link to do to do that now. So the first thing you can do, you can either hammer the end of these using uh, put, by putting them in the, uh, the forge, but that's going to be extremely tedious. The quickest solution to, is to put a point on either end, like so. And I've simply put a sharp point and using the, uh, the grinder, and I'll just show you how I've done that. And what we need to do next is to actually bend these ends over. And what I'm looking to do here now in the vise is to bend, make a, a start to this small twirl. So I'm doing this because I could do again this, um, I could do this hot, but again it's very tedious. Uh, when you're doing 220 so it's much quicker to just get these little twirls started in the vise. So we simply take our square, our, our sharpened point ends, leave about 8mm exposed and just wrap the ends over. Turn it round, so there's our first L, you just knock the end over. Now I could bend this all the way round, but because it's, I'm doing this cold, there's a chance that there's a chance I could actually uh, cause it to the metal to fracture. Okay, uh, next stage of the process is to Heat these up, these little links up, and uh, to knock over the little end twirls there on my anvil with a small hammer. And then once I've done those on either side, I need to put it onto this small little jig here to bend the uh, the larger loops or scrolls around. So uh, I put a bunch into the forge now.
say um, I've done quite a few of the uh, the bends now and uh, the majority of the uh, links um, and I'm ending up with something like that. Um, now what I need to do now is just to finally tap it into place. It just needs a, a bit of minor adjustment and tweaking. So uh, I'm just going to put it back on the the jig I've got here now and just uh, close these close these gaps up. They don't have to be because it's decorative. It, it doesn't have to be fully closed, but just cl I, I need to get them just a bit closer. So the way I do that is just simply put it on the jig and uh, just tap it gently till I've closed it up. So I've almost virtually closed that one up there. Just need to do, to do that it on that side. And then do the opposite side again. Just have to make sure that that is level in that direction as well, which it is. But I will give it just a little tap on the anvil, and so that will be ready for when for linking them together. Um, so I've just got to get on doing quite a few more of these, and uh, the next stage will be to actually link them together. OK, the next section we need to do is to join our links together. Um, this is quite simple. Take one, put it in the vise. Use a pair of caliper pliers or a pair of pliers and just bend that off to the left a bit. And then click that one in and then just bring it back. And there, there we go. Here is uh, the rest of the chain progressing. So to connect that to that, again, simply in, just bend slightly to the right, connect it in, and pull it back. And just keep on going until you join them all up. The next section is to actually apply some protective coat to this and that's what we'll be moving on to next. Okay so this is the all the chain, chain linked together now. Um, that's something, I've got something like 7.8 meters. Uh, I've got it in basically four two meter lengths at the moment. Uh, just because it's easy to deal with. Okay, so uh, what I need to do now, because this is mild steel, it will rust, so I need to apply some kind of uh, protective finish. And this is what I'm going to use. It's a mixture of boiled linseed oil and beeswax. Um, if you leave it like this, it'll, it'll go this gloopy or with gloopy uh, consistency so what I need to do now is to heat this up and it'll go very very runny. Right I've heated the uh, the mix up and uh, as you can see it's a lot more watery and thinner now. Majority dropping back in. I'm now going to start to burn 
some skin on there that needs to come off. I can burn all this off now. So all this is going to be burnt off now uh, with propane torch. So we'll get after that doing that now. that's certifying is running down the chain. So I'm working it down the chain. Trying to get as much off as possible. And it'll just leave a small coating. again and then burn it all off again. And all this is acting like skin and it's burning off now. If I have to wait long enough it would, it would all get absorbed but I, it does leave a quite a nice sort of carbon coating. And I'm going to burn as much as I can as we go. Turn it all that off. Just drop them back down into the... What a messy job this is. And you've also got to be careful with oil linseed oil because it's quite a volatile mixture so I'm always not going to flash up on me just going to try and keep the flame away from the pot <laughs> Okay, so that's the coating done. Um, this will take two or three days before it's um, dry. Um, using boiled linseed apparently makes it dry quicker. So, uh, right, so uh, that's 7.8 meters of decorative link chain made and uh, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>